Hello, everybody, and welcome back. This is Dustin Meyer, and uh, Anthropix just released a new version of Portrait Pro Body. So uh, we're going to check it out, see what kind of new features they have. Now, uh, just a side note, they also have a Photoshop plugin, and you can save it as a uh, smart object so that you can also go back and keep making new adjustments later on. So kind of like an extra layer, something along those lines. But also they uh, say that it's supposed to work faster. And also there's kind of a light mode where instead of doing all the body work and everything, you can just go through and do retouching and... Uh, you know, like facial retouching, stuff like that. But uh, we're going to go through the full version just to kind of see uh, how it goes. So let's just jump right into it. Okay, so the first thing they want is for us to click on the nose and female and click on the right shoulder joint and, of course, elbow and wrist joint. There we go. Other shoulder. Do, do, do. And let's see belly button right about there hip joint knee and then of course way down here and we got another hip another knee and way down there so let's see arm oh this well at least the outlines seem to be a little bit quicker it's kind of hard to see with the black maybe i should have picked a better a better uh better image so next we're gonna go here and uh, I apologize that it has been a while since my last video but it is that time for the holiday season so things have been a little crazy here at the studio okay uh, curve of the body we're gonna say do 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 now, like I said, this is kind of hard to, to see, so hopefully this will be accurate. There we go. And leg. Sure, we'll just pretend that it's right there. Doo -doo -doo. We're going to kind of make a guesstimate here since it's hidden. Hopefully uh, the results are pleasing because I am having a hard time seeing where everything is, but we are going to give it a shot. Okay, so arm, let's see. Okay, remember in the last version, uh, whenever it would go, you know, show the comparison modes, uh, the one side of the picture was like really like stripy pixelated, so this is already an improvement. Let's see, right lower arm is in front of torso, so yup. And there too. And arm is in front of torso, yep. And we're gonna say this one is behind torso. See, right lower arm in front of left, yes. And we're gonna say right upper leg is in front of left. And finish markup and edit body. Okay, so one of the things I did was I picked uh, this particular image because they also have a new feature where it says that you can go back and do like a straighten tool. So after you've done some warping and stuff, if you've noticed that there's lines in the background that have a little bit of curve to them, then this new tool is supposed to help go back and fix it. So, uh, excuse me, let me take a look. Okay, um, you know what? We're gonna fix that, whoa. Whoops, uh, let's go back to markup real quick. I just, yes, I just want to fix this. Okay. And let's see, let's do upper leg. Okay, mark curves. Yes, and we're going to go down here. This is kind of cool. Uh, either this was in the last version or I just wasn't really good at identifying it. I kind of wish that it didn't switch to black and white during this part because I, I do feel as if this does make it a little bit harder to recognize. So, okay, identify overlaps and we're gonna go to shape sliders. Okay, so 
uh, we can go over here and I wasn't really sure about this before, but you can actually just drag the, uh, this is kind of cool. Maybe this was in the last version. I can't remember, but you can just drag the lines now and let's see. Okay, so we're gonna go a little bit overboard with this one because I wanna see how this over here looks. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna bring that up a little bit and let's see what this guy does. Oh, that's that one. Let's do the left one. There we go. And this one. Alrighty. Oops. And bring that one back. And let's see, we're gonna just kind of grab these and slim that a little bit. And also, let's see how it does on the inside here. Not bad. And I'm gonna bring the, whoop. let's see, let's do this part first. We're gonna bring the calves in just a little bit and we can just move that around. And let's see what else. Okay, so we also got a little bit of bend at the bottom, which is good because it will allow us to kind of go back and see if, you know, how good the straightening tool works. Let's see. So actually, you know, already I, I kind of like this because you can just, you know, eyeball it like you normally would, or, you know, not eyeball it, but do it manually with the just grabbing and moving and stuff. Uh, but they also have the sliders over here, which are always handy in case you're not quite sure, uh, you know, what to do, or if you want like a little bit of a quicker type thing. I guess quicker, or if you just want to go through each part and just see how it looks. And let's see, skeleton, let's see, shape tools. Okay, so let's see. Used correct bulges and pinches. Let's see, let's try skin. Okay, so uh, skin, select skin area. Okay, so this part over here is not skin, but we're just gonna, yeah, I maybe there's a setting to where you can turn off this black and white preview thing, but um, let's see, actually I already went ahead and smoothed the, uh, the legs earlier in, um, there's the eraser tool, in uh, Lightroom using a preset that I have for uh, skin softening. You know, sometimes I use it on the face. Uh, a lot of times I'll use it on arms, like upper arms or legs or what have you. So, uh, okay. Belly button, I don't know what this one does. Small, oh, cool. All right, well, if you have a, <laughs> let's see, okay, so tool size. Okay. So this I believe is just for, um, like I said, arms and legs. Cause right below it says face. So let's see here. Okay. So face shape, and we're just going to kind of drag it in a little bit. Let's see jaw. Oh, sorry. I'm looking at the wrong one. <laughs> okay. And let's just see how it looks overall widen eyes just a little bit. Now, some of this stuff you can actually do in just standard Portrait Pro Studio Max with the face and stuff, uh, which is nice. But, you know, if you want to go in here and just kind of contour the uh, the figure of the person, like if the clothes aren't fitting right or something along those lines, then you can do it in here. And let's see, smile. I think the smile looks good. Make it a little bit wider if you want. And let's see, smooth skin, eyes, nose, forehead, Let's, whoa, nope. And thinking, thinking. I have to watch out for my, uh, I, I'm using, I'm on a Mac, so I've got that magic mouse thingy. So I have to make sure that uh, I don't accidentally, you know, do the fake scroll wheel thing, because that also uh, zooms in and out, which is actually kind of nice. But uh, let's see, so smooth skin, paying attention to the image on the left. Not bad. 
and let's see around eyes pretty good lighting contrast let's see oh okay so this one's kind of like the uh the lighting slider uh panel thingy in portrait pro regular portrait pro modeling light little bit smoky eyes nah we won't really mix, mess with that okay so this like i said if you're gonna have to use portrait pro body then uh having this um already you know built into the new or not built in i mean it's already kind of there but it looks to me like they kind of um fixed it a little bit so that is better okay warp fixer line patch paint a patch over a line that has become distorted hold shift to pause painting use escape to cancel while painting so let's see here I guess we'll leave the face alone. All right, so paint a patch over a line that has become distorted. And I'm gonna fix that and, and right here. And just a little bit here, and we're gonna fill in the rest of this box, sorta, here. Okay, so let's see, we're gonna use a slider here, line width. Holy smokes, wait a second, did you guys see that? Over here on the, uh, <laughs> over here on the right, it just, it fixed it. That's really cool. Okay, so you need to keep this inside Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Got to keep this, you know, running right along the object. Okay, that looks better. All right, and then let's take a look up here. Not bad. Not bad, not bad. Okay, so these are all of your uh, just sliders for overall picture adjustment. Fill light, black light, or I'm sorry, just blacks, temperature, tint, all that stuff. I do all that in Lightroom. So, um, so yeah, uh, I'm pretty impressed. I could have probably spent a little bit more time on this just to perfect it a little, but I think the whole point of the software is to just go in and make your adjustments, do some correction if you need to. And, um, that's it. So as always, make sure you save your work. And as I said before, we're not going to go into the Photoshop plugin and the smart object feature because, um, well, uh, maybe we'll do that in a second video, but I just wanted to keep it, you know, just to the actual software itself, but we're going to go up here just to, so that's what it was. And then that's what we got now. So now of course, you know, just, uh, do this at your own, um, at your own limits as far as what you want to do and you know how much you want to do uh and that way you know i just wanted to kind of do a little bit more extreme so you guys could see uh how everything you know worked for the most part but anyways i'll just leave it at that and uh so uh if you learned something today please hit the like button and also uh, if you have any questions as always leave a comment in the comment box below thank you to portrait pro for uh sending this over so i could give it a shot and show all of my uh viewers you know how this new uh how this new product works and uh and yeah so thank you guys so much for watching if uh, if you feel like somebody else would learn something from this please uh, share it with them but otherwise thanks again and we'll see you next time <laughs>